The Continental Divide crosses the United States from the northwest corner of Montana to the southwest corner of New Mexico. In Colorado, it follows a series of peaks through the Rockies. The tallest of these is also the tallest in the state, Mount Albert. This hiker, attempting the summit of Mount Albert's 14,433-foot peak, is walking the ridge that literally splits America in two. Any rain or melting snow to his left flows west towards the Pacific, supplying water to thirsty populations in the southwest. The water that falls to the right of this ridge flows east towards the Atlantic and helps nourish communities and farms from Colorado's plains all the way to the Mississippi River. A quarter of all water in the U.S. originates here in the Rocky Mountains, which is why protecting this watershed is so important. The problem is that the mountains along the divide also hold some of the richest mineral deposits in America. The challenge is to get those minerals out without polluting the drinking water of millions. Twenty-five miles north of Mount Albert, the Climax Mine straddles the Continental Divide. It's the largest producer of molybdenum in the world. Molly, as it's known for short, is a key mineral used in the production of steel. To mine it, this company cuts away the earth under the ore, and then, as the rock above falls and breaks, gathers it for processing. Inside this giant dome, chemicals are used to separate the valuable molybdenite from surrounding rock. The chemical waste is then sent to ponds, which cover several square miles. But underneath these ponds, a constant stream of groundwater flows directly to Denver's water system. In order to keep this water source pure, these tailings ponds have to be carefully designed and managed so that mining chemicals don't leach into the groundwater below and pollute the watershed of the Continental Divide. 